everyone, this is the news program and today we bring you some of the latest updated news. 19 people dead after boat capsized near Philippine capital. A municipal disaster agency said at least 19 people were killed when a passenger boat capsized amid the strong winds near the Philippine capital, Manila. The chief of the disaster agency of Pinangonan Town said it was not immediately clear how many people were on board, but 40 people had been rescued, while search and rescue operations are ongoing. The Coast Guard said in a separate statement the boat was around 45 meters from land when it was hit by strong winds, causing all passengers to panic and move on to one side, which caused the vessel to capsize. The Philippines was this week hit by Typhoon Doksuri, which brought winds of up to 175 kilometers an hour or 108 miles an hour to its northern and most populated Luzon Island. Philippines starts rescue and cleanup operation after Super Typhoon Doksuri on the north coast. The Philippine Coast Guard started rescue and cleanup operations after Super Typhoon Doksuri lashed to the country's northern coastline with gale force winds and torrential rain bursting banks of rivers and leaving thousands without electricity. Doksuri pounded coastal communities including isolated villages tucked away in tropical forests and left at least one person dead. The storm is nearly 900 km or 500 miles across and is expected to sustain strength as it continues its course towards Taiwan and Chinese mainland. China's Meteorological Administration has already raised its storm alert to the second highest tire and the manufacturing hub of Guangdong province warned of the worst storm in a decade. Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen will step down and power to Sun on this month. Cambodia's Prime Minister Hun Sen said he will step down and hand over power to his son this month. The handover will see the end of this near four decade reign that has in recent years led to an erosion of democracy in the Southeast Asian country. One of the world's longest ruling leaders, Hun Sen made the announcement after his ruling Cambodian People's Party, CPP, swept away 120 out of 125 parliamentary seats in a general election where there were no opponents. Critics denounced the pool as a sham after the government disqualified the sole opposition candidate party in May on a technical and threatened to penalize anyone calling for a boycott. Malaysia opposition gains support in threat to Prime Minister in regional. The leader of Malaysia's conservative Muslim opposition, Muhyiddin Yassin, said he was confident of making gains against Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's government in upcoming regional polls as his alliance woos more of the country's majority Malays. Uh, I'm quite optimistic that we should fare uh, not equally the same but even better uh, in the state elections. These are critical state elections uh, after the general elections. <coughs> so. Uh, it has been about eight months that things has happened. And uh, I believe, uh, one, of course, uh, we have those states which are already led by Prikatan or past led Prikatan state. Six of Malaysia's 13 states will hold elections on August 12 in what is seen as a referendum over Anwar's eight month old administration. Gains by the leading led opposition alliance could weaken the government and spook investors. In an interview with Reuters, Muhyiddin said his Perikata National Alliance three years ago has seen rising support since the November general election at which it came at a close second to Anwar's block. Two people run from landslide in the Philippines. Eyewitness video taken on morning showed the moment of a landslide in the province of Benguet, northern Philippines, with two people running from the approaching wall and mud and rock to the safety place. An eyewitness said the landslide damaged several vehicles, farm machines and houses. The eyewitness also informed that the landslide not caused death and the natural disaster was caused by heavy rain in the Philippines. In Baguio City, parts of the flat areas at the central business district including Burnham Park are submerged in the floodwaters after the lake overflowed as strong rains persisted since Tuesday afternoon. The local government has declared suspension of work in all government offices except those performing emergency response. The whole Baguio city and Benguet province has no power since Tuesday after falling trees toppled power lines. 
Malaysian Prime Minister raises prospect of ASEAN engagement informally with Myanmar. Malaysia, one of the biggest critics of violence in military ruled Myanmar, raised the possibility of ASEAN allowing member countries to engage informally with the junta without sacrificing the issue of human rights. We did touch upon uh, Myanmar to strengthen the five-point consensus of ASEAN, but also give some flexibility, uh, room and space for neighboring countries to engage on an informal basis um, without sacrificing the issues of human rights and the treatment of uh, minorities, and particularly Rohingyas and other Burmese minorities in Myanmar. Let's be seated. Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim said he discussed the matter with the Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who is in Kuala Lumpur for bilateral meetings. Malaysia and the ASEAN have previously rejected any engagement with the junta, though Thailand this year hosted an informal meeting with Myanmar, citing a need to maintain dialogue. ASEAN, which includes Myanmar among its 10 members, has pushed without success for the implementation of a five-point peace plan agreed to the junta shortly after a coup in early 2021. Japan highlights international cooperation in annual defense white paper. Japan highlighted cooperation with the United States and other countries amid regional security challenges in its annual defense white paper. It, the white paper, also summarizes the security environment around our country, such as the military trends of countries in our region. The efforts of the self-defense forces of the Ministry of Defense and cooperation with the United States and other countries. The report states, surrounded by nuclear armed rivals, Japan has to contend with intensifying Chinese military maneuvers around Taiwan and disputed islands in the East China Sea. A growing threat from North Korea's ballistic missile program and deteriorating regional security after Russia's attack on Ukraine. This year's white paper is the first since Japan announced in December a plan to double defense spending over the next five years to fund the acquisition of new weapons and capabilities, including longer range missiles, that Japan says will help deter China from resorting to military action. More than 20 people died after boat accident in the Philippines. Philippine authorities are reporting the death toll from the sinking of an overcrowded passenger boat in Laguna de Bayo Fritzal province has risen to 27. The accident occurred as the typhoon Doxuri passed through the region, bringing strong winds and torrential rain. A total of 43 passengers have been rescued. Hostillo Arturo Cornelio, PCG District and CR Central Luzon commander said local boats normally cover the site of their boats in plastic sheeting to block the rain and waves and this may have stopped passengers from escaping the boat when it starts to capsize. The vessel is already uh, in an upright position so uh, visibly there's no more, uh, no more people or other items in, inside the boat. Uh, what we're looking at is the, uh, the shoreline. If you can see, the water is quite not clear. So that is the challenge. The official said there are no bodies trapped inside the cabin and the Coast Guard will search the nearby waters for at least three days. The PCG said the boat, which has a maximum capacity of 42, was obviously overloaded and passengers were not wearing life vests. And that's the last news in today's program, everyone. Thank you very much. Have a nice week days ahead. We will see you soon.